hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a little something a little bit different from what I've usually been doing and we're going to play with geometry nodes to make a chain mail. So I'm using Blender 3.10 which is recently released and we're not going to delete the cube but we're going to hide it and do a shift A add mesh torus and F9. I'm going to make a lot of these, so I want to set the geometry down to 14 for the major segments and the minor radius to 0 0.2. And oh, by the way, you need to have um, the Node Wrangler installed. So for that, you would go to Edit preferences, add-ons, type node wrangler and make sure that's check marked right there because we're going to make heavy use of it. All right, let's move this torus out of the way, GX20 for instance, and re-enable the cube, select it and go to the geometry nodes guy. Geometry Nodes Editor, click New, and I'm going to do a Control right click and cut that line. We're going to use that later. And I want to do a Shift A, Add Mesh Primitive, a Grid. And I'm going to want to create, uh, come on, drag it, click and drag it down. We're going to do 25 by 25 vertices. Let's get rid of this window here. We don't need it. Okay. Next, uh, I want a instance on points. Is it that instance on points and drop that in. But we don't have the instance yet and for that we'll do a shift A add input object info and plug this into our instance. And then select our torus. Oh, I forgot to rename the torus. Well, we can click here and type bring. That's fine. Okay. Obviously, it's way too big because we've got 25 of them all jammed together. So let's fix that. We'll do a shift A, add search. Um, scale elements and I'm going to set that scale value to 0 0.015 so that we can do is so they're not touching each other right Making good progress here. Okay, so now I want to create these extra rings. So I'm going to do a shift, shift control. Well, shift control, select this guy. Whoops, I don't want a viewer. Shift that guy. Well, collect, select it, and then hold the shift, the control key, and then hit D, and that grabs the, uh, that's a nose wrangler to copy it and do the connection. And we want to do a shift A, add, what is it, uh, geometry, a join geometry. See that little guy there means you can connect any number of inputs there. So connect 
that guy. We don't see any changes yet because we need to change the position and rotate it. So we could do this. Let's do this. Here's the rotation. But it's stacked on top, so we need to move it a little bit. So set position needs to go in there. And the position needs to be an X offset. 0.02. So now we have a chain. Now we need to connect our chain elements together to make our males. So select this one, shift select that one, and then hit shift control D and move it down. Add that to it, to the output. And let's go change this guy to front to 0, 0, 0.02, 0, 0.90. And now we've got a chain mail. But we're not done yet because we're going to whip it, make this thing a little bit fancy. Just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to allow you to change the size. So I'm going to press connect this guy to size X and to size Y. And press N on the keyboard and hit that guy. We'll just call it size. Guess you could split it. And I found it doesn't work with the minimum less than one. So I'm going to set it to one for the minimum. But it's not working exactly right. So what we need to do is have a multiplier in here. So I'm going to do a shift A, add utility math. Set it to multiply. Okay, zoom out a little bit so you can see it. And deselect it. All right, so going over here into the modifier stack and look at there. There's our chain mail. Now, of course, you can add some materials to the uh, ring. Spiff it up a little bit. Add some lighting so that you can show off your work. But that's how you create a chain mail. By the way, there are many different kinds of chain mails. Uh, I might even try to make another one of these things to see if I can figure out a different style of chain mail. But for now, that's what I got for you. So thanks again for watching, and please subscribe. Catch you later. Bye.